Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. It's time to start catching up on stuff that I haven't collected back in the olden days. Well, okay, not the olden days, just the parts that I haven't, you know, got, gone back to to collect. Like, I'm gonna get the two poles that are above the bomb shop, but I'm gonna show you this. This is the shop that actually opened here and yeah, I didn't see it open the other time when I came through here before, but yeah, this is apparently it, and I need absolutely nothing from here. <laughs> but I suppose you can buy that if you need it, maybe, but I would prefer fairies, if anything. <laughs> so anyway, I'm, I'm going to go around and up here. I will buy the new bombs that uh, Barnes here has from the shop a little bit later when I get the third bomb bag. But for now I'm just gonna go get the pose above the shop and I think I can transform here should be safe. Yes, okay. So no <laughs> I did not mean to do that. I wanted to loop around that hole. Uh, back outside. <laughs> Oh, and you'll notice that it's nighttime as well. It has to be nighttime in order for you to find these poses. I think you just seen a pole to your left. Oh, would you look at that? There it is. Come on. I know you see me. Down. Good. And another one bites the dust. Even though it's kind of already dead. And I got 20 pole souls. That means I can go over by Giovanni a little bit later to pick up something. Oops, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> The other post soul is go up here, a little bit further, a little bit further, and there it is. Come on, over here, where it's nice solid ground. Well, actually, this is a nice wide area, actually. Oh! <laughs> and there's another one. Yeehaw! And now I'm gonna go do some other stuff. <laughs> did not expect this. Good thing I did not turn off the camera. <laughs> Why, hello there. Shot, huh? Awesome. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at that letter. And... Whoops, there we go. Update. That, I, I could have told him that, but I, I'm kind of incognito right now, so let, let's let him waste time. <laughs> Alright, so over here, there's some boulders. They seem a little fragile. There we go. <laughs> they block this little path here. And if you follow this path, you'll eventually come to something. Whoop. Uh, whoop. I was wondering if I could make that jump, otherwise I would just claw shot across. Just climb up here. Actually, I'm not all that sure. It's been a while since I've done this, but I'm pretty sure I'm doing this the correct way. Okay, and... Hmm. Is, can I... Yes, I can make that. Okay. It's safe enough. <laughs> um, bomb arrows. There we go. And look, I got two empty spots in my inventory. It looks kind of weird. I haven't seen that in a while. I'll just do that. And claw shot over, just to be safe. Alright, let's carefully look around here. I don't think this is the right way, but I just want to... Uh, that that thing right there, I believe, is the chest that I'm looking for. Did you see that little blue dot over there? The only way to do that is to jump up from down here. I just don't want to jump to a place that, you know, I have to do this whole rigmarole again. <laughs> that would suck. And inside contains a piece of heart. Woohoo! We've been to this part of Hyrule Field before, well, there, 
There's the barrier on the castle now, but you can see where we are on the map over there. Well, let's go take this path over here. And what we're looking for is a cave blocked by a rock. I don't remember where it is as well, so I just am going to wing it, I suppose. Let's just look around here and I see an enemy. Is that a... Elizaphos? Elizaphos as regular, just random enemies on the field? Interesting. Oh, there it is. <laughs> And I got a yellow rupee, that's delightful. So this is what I'm looking for over here. I... Yeah, I gotta transform back. <laughs> and wait, actually, you know, I could save bombs just by using this, couldn't I? That is lovely. <laughs> Ow. We'll just climb over it then. Thank you. Alright, through here, as you see, we are inside a cave. Let's figure out the puzzle within! This is at Zora's Domain, actually, as you can see, but... Uh, wait, 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 what? Is this the thing that I'm looking for? I don't... I... This might be... I don't think it is, though. Uh-oh. <laughs> I guess I'm off track. I can break this. Or not. <laughs> Does it have to be a bomb? Like, specifically a bomb? For this one? Oh, come on. <laughs> Uh-oh. Don't follow me. Well, as long as I'm here, I might as well break this path open. <laughs> but I, I guess I took a wrong turn there, but I could swore the thing was around this area. But yeah, this leads up to the top, and that's not the thing that I'm looking for. Although there is a rupee just randomly sitting here, so I might as well grab that. Alright, let's go back to that rocky area. I just don't know what went wrong. <laughs> so, okay, we're back out in Hyrule Field here. Let's let's peep around here and see what we're looking to see. If... There's a false. Oh, he's up in my grill. <laughs> but if this isn't the cave that I'm looking for, what is? Because I'm sure this is the place that has the poop. And, yeah, maybe it's at the lower path? <laughs> My memory fails me. So I'm going to kill this random critter just because and reap its riches, which is actually nothing at all. Is this it? Is this the cave? Because that other one was the shortcut to the Zoro's Domain. When I seen it as Zoro's Domain, I was like, hmm, is this... Was this the one? I don't remember this. <laughs> you know, after I said it, and I was like, uh-oh. Alright, so... There should be ice behind the boulder that... If my memory serves me, like, ice to break apart with the ball and chain. Ah, there we go. Yeah, because this this is why I couldn't do this earlier, because I needed this thing. Yeah. <laughs> so let's take a look around this cave. It is very, very well detailed, I have to say. Ah, the beauty. She is unmatched. Shan, we have a block pushing puzzle here. You know how to do these by now, I'm sure. Well, I should say, you know how to work these. <laughs> Alright, looks like this is just the mirror version of the uh, Snow Peak Ruins one, where you want to do something like this. And take the other block and stack it on top of it by doing the same circle. Boy, I'm sure glad I found this cave all by myself. <laughs> really, I I was just got a little bit lost there. I took the wrong path. Like I took right, I took right instead of left, and that's where I got got off track there. Oh well. Well, I showed you the shortcut to Zora's domain anyway, but I could have showed you that from the other side. I actually planned on doing that when I went through the Zora's domain again. All right, so that 
but is now on the Z button. And here's another block pushing puzzle. Ooh, this one's a little more complicated. Let's just carefully look at what we have to do here. Probably something like hitting our face in a block. That always works. So we push that there and we push this here. And we push this on the switch. We take the block behind it, push it over. This is my solution to it, by the way. I'm sure there's other possibilities that you can use here. All right, so we're going to now move this one over. And now I can move this one back. I, all I needed to use was that block as a rest point so that the other one could stop. And what? I thought there was... Uh-oh. I thought there was a corner there. Oopsie. <laughs> so that won't work. If, what if I... Hmm... I thought I had the solution, but maybe I don't. <laughs> Obviously, I don't. Hmm. Definitely need to stack blocks. Or maybe I should have done that switch first. Maybe. And then went over to this switch because it's got that corner. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do here. Okay. Okay. I don't really care if that one's off the switch now, obviously. Because now that I have the little rest point there, I can... I can now push a block onto it from the other side once I get... Wait, uh, I'll push... <laughs> this is taking me longer than expected. But that's okay, I've got the gist of it, I suppose. Alright, so we push this here, this there, <laughs> this one's going all the way around. <sighs> Solutions! Yeah, definitely do not do the other one first. There we go. There's definitely a shorter way to do that than the way that I did it. <laughs> All right, one more puzzle here. Oh, this this is an this is oh wait no this isn't identical to the Snow Peak Ruins one, is it? Okay. Because it does, it doesn't have that rest corner. All right, gotta use my noodle here. Hopefully. <laughs> That's there. I need to get it, it doesn't really matter where the center point is. I just need a center point to start with basically because I have because obviously I can't push them, you know, at, at like an angle or something like that. So, yeah, um, let's see. I push this one like that there and get it over to that side. Now I push this block like this and then I'll push the other one against it and then down to this spot. <sighs> so much puzzling! Alright, now that I have this here, I can do the same thing but with these two blocks. Uh, I should push this one over to... Oh, wait, actually, I don't. I pushed it the wrong way. I could just do it like this. Because I don't have to do that little switcheroo thing. Because I can now move this block away from that edge. Alright, puzzle solved. Oh. <laughs> and open says me. And within this place, this very high detailed cave with three block puzzles is a heartbeat! Woohoo! Thank God that's over. <laughs> Remember Kakariko Gorge? Yeah, this bridge right here that we had to bring from the uh, the forest. 
Well, look at that over there. See this? Yeah. Another blocked cave. And blocked caves deserve to be broken out. You know, the air inside gets pretty stuffy. So it's probably a good idea to do that. Yeah. I mean, the, the poor animals inside need some fresh air every once in a while. So here you have another lantern cavern of sorts. And... Wow, I've got a lot of items to sift through. <laughs> Boop. And... I'm gonna explore this area to its fullest by going through all the paths, if at all po oh, if at all possible. Because why not, you know? <laughs> Hopefully I have enough lantern oil to do this, though. No, no, don't hit the wall, Link. When I Z-target, you attack what I am Z-targeting. <laughs> there we go. Oh. I'll light this for the heck of it. I hope... I hope I'm not, like... I think... Hmm... I think I'm getting a... Because I'd like to show the other path, and I think the other one leads to a dead end, if I remember correctly. Or maybe this is like one big... Ow. Maze that you hit your face into walls. <laughs> I'm going to ignore you. Yeah, it looks like they join up, actually. I just want to... Because one of these corners has a piece of heart. <laughs> And this is a dead end, but that's okay. You have to light two lanterns at the end of the place, but... Yeah, I'm going to kill you. This isn't what I'm looking for, but it is a treasure. This is partly why I want to explore this place to its fullest. <laughs> see this? See over here? Yeah, that's, that's what I thought. <laughs> because I knew if I took the other paths, it would be... You know, I, I, I would miss out on the other one, so yeah. Alright, so... I'm gonna go this way now. You're gonna really be in my way. <laughs> another... ooh! Another split path. Rats. Bats. Maybe they're trying to be poets or something like that, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think this is what I'm looking for. Is it? No, it's not. I didn't think so. But I will like that, just for the heck of it. Just conserve my lantern oil, and go back. It's it's light enough that you can see your way through here, really, without a lantern, so I probably should have kept it... kept it in the whole time. Maybe I should go back to that Goron kid and buy myself some lantern oil, because now I need it! <laughs> Away. There's a pole here. There's another thing. <laughs> and whoa, I just hit him twice with one. And I missed somehow. I missed when he was on the ground. I hit him twice when he was in the air somehow. But I missed when he was on the ground. How is that possible? <laughs> okay, that's done. Yeah, there's a lot to explore in this place. And that, that, that is a total dead end, if I'm not mistaken. Well, you know, aside from this... Wait, 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 this is what I'm looking for. Come on, attack me. Attack me. No, wait, wait. Is, is this? Well, I'm about to find out, because this looks really familiar, and I, I think this is it. The thing that I'm looking for. And I'll explore the rest of the cavern. Yeah, I think this is definitely it. <laughs> there we go. Kind of a confusing place, but whatever. Got the piece of heart. Let's get out of here. Remember the Bridge of Elden? Look at that. There is a cave up there. You've probably seen that as I passed by here. Ugh! Passed by here a couple of times. So... Whoa, that was weird. <laughs> I don't know what the heck happened there. I was pushing forward and he went the other way. I'm not close enough. It's too bad. <laughs> now am I close enough? There we go. 
Alright, let's drop off here and I'll show you the area. There is not much over there, but if you keep following this little path here, you'll eventually reach that cave. So, let's do so. There's another golden bug there, by the way. Still have yet to get those suckers, but whatever. Let's go inside the cave. Boy, I'm giving you a lot of stuff to do in this part. <laughs> and it is a lava-y place. It's not a very large area, though, as you can see. Or is it? It's got multiple layers. It's another puzzle-type puzzle type of cavern here. Good thing I do not have my uh, um, <laughs> horde on shield out. Otherwise, I would lose it in this kind of area. So, as you can see, there's a place to drop down with Z iron boots. It's like another uh, redux. I mean, it's a, the uh, Goron Mines redux. <laughs> so to speak. Alright, let's hop in! Ugh. Put on your boots as you are going down, obviously. <laughs> like to explore this place to its fullest. Thought. I'm pretty sure the path is mostly linear, so... You don't have to worry about getting off track too much. You just have to do a couple more of those action magnetism puzzles. And yeah, because you see everything's blocked off by these uh, fences and stuff like that. Uh-oh. No, 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 no! Oh, oh. Did not mean this one that much. Okay. I wonder if... I was thinking if I should jump down there with the boots first, but that would actually be a little bit harder, I think. But I think it's just easier to use, I mean, put on the boots as you're falling down into it. Oh boy. <laughs> Good. And we made it. Hey, what's this? I think I ever lit these before. Oops. Let's see what these things are. Mustn't have seen them on my other runs through here. This isn't what I'm looking for, though. It's the other treasure chest over there. This contains an orange rupee! We are rich! The dongo! I don't know why I'm bothering to kill it, because I'm... I mean, my prize is right here. <laughs> there it is! It's another piece of art! As I said, you guys are going to be really busy with all these side quests. And this cave right here, obviously because you can't climb back out, there, this is all uh, a drop zone place. This leads over to Hyrule Field, over by the Bridge of Elden, of which you can claw shot your way back up. Uh, I'll show you that little path, why not? <laughs> uh, otherwise, you could just warp your way out of here if you'd like to, but otherwise... I mean, you, you, I'm sure you have the warp power by this time of the game because, you know, you gain warping before you get... Oh, wait, no, you don't get warping before you get the claw shot. My mistake. Alright, now... Wait, what is this? Okay... Yeah, might as well get some more riches. Yay! Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go dump out my earnings over at Kakariko Village. Hold on. Oh, before you're wondering, uh, yes, I do know the cannon costs uh, 300... Wait, how much... How many... How many... How much are you short? But yeah, I know the cannon costs 300 rupees to uh, repair. Just saying that, before anyone says that. <laughs> but I'm not worried about cash in this game. You get... You get so much cash from all the side quests that I'm going to be doing here, and yeah. <laughs> he is quite the businessman, I have to say. Well, business kid. Alright, now I'm going to go back over to Elden Bridge. Here we are, and I think this is going to be the last thing that I'm going to be doing this part. Alright, remember that statue over there? There is something you can do about it, but it's not on the side that I thought it was. Uh, uh oh. I should snipe that sucker. Otherwise, he's gonna get in my way. Okay, good. Alright, get the rod. And. 
get that statue down over by us. And there we go. Now take it all the way to the other side of the bridge. This is gonna take a while. <laughs> all right, we are here. And I'm going to oops, get rid of him right away. I can't, can I? At least not when I'm not close. Uh, what about the other guy? Are you gonna get in my way? No, you're not. <laughs> I get the statue over here. It's good. Where did you come from? Where did you come from? And what did I lock onto? Is there someone else? Oh, well, that explains a lot. <laughs> All right, get this down there. You want to make yourself a little platform to jump on? You're not. I think that's good enough. No, it's a little too far away. It's too bad. Okay, let's climb ourselves out again. And hop! Hop! And dear lord, I've been recording for 45 minutes. So many side quests. <laughs> so yeah, this is definitely the last one that I'm going to be doing in this part. Uh, yeah, whoa! Take that. <laughs> anyway, the thing you're looking for is right here. I just killed him just because. Another piece of art. And I'm done here. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part.